Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I thought that I would start this Tuesday night Builders Book Club series of readings from books while I am actually sitting in a school desk chair <laughs> that I recently got. And I'm sorry that the video doesn't show that I've got this little folding table that collapses over in my fuchsia chair that I just recently got. And it's perfect in a library space with a lot of books. But I thought I would share with you first a few poems from the CCD magazine, July to December 2019 issue anthology that is called Imagery of Place. And this book has a cover actually it was a painting on the side of a building in kenosha wisconsin i believe but i thought i would share probably the last time i'll ever read from this book for you it's a groovy book though and it's available on amazon if anybody's interested or if anybody's interested in ccnd they can go to scars.tv ccd and find information about all of the issues and uh and i will just share with you a couple of short poems throughout this book for you guys uh this first one is a poem that also has an Instagram image that comes with it. I think a few of them here do. One, two, I think the first two poems do, and I'm going to show. It's called Ends of the Earth, and I show it for you, and I show it for you, and it's got a picture from Antarctica swirling around in water, and I think a baby photo in there too. So this is a tiny piece at the end of a piece of prose in CCND and it's called Ends of the Earth. I would go to the ends of the earth to have you with me once again, my baby, my love. You are my life. Short but sweet little piece. And I'll find another one of those like that for you as well. Another Instagram image that was released on Instagram and Tumblr and Twitter and Facebook. And it is for a short poem called Listen to Life. As some cameras can see, I try to show them off for people. You won't be able to see it, but you can check them out online if you look up the poem Listen to Life. Or if you get a copy of this book, you can see it as well. This short piece is called Listen to Life. Life teaches you lessons if you learn to listen. Life can destroy you if you're not paying notice. Learn what to listen for and never forget. Life can also thrill you if you listen just right. Perfect little things on my little school desk that I've got here. It's just the coolest thing. Sorry. I wish you guys could all see it. I don't have cameras that can get scale back far enough. But I'll have two that are a little bit longer for you guys. This first one is another piece that I followed prose within the issues of CCND Magazine in this July to December 2019 collection issue anthology called Imagery of Place. And this piece is from the In the Fall section called Queuing in Line and Shaping Your Life. Without a college education, men created companies that changed the modern world. Women have made Nobel Prize winning scientific discoveries and inventions even without a college education back when they weren't even allowed to learn. Of course, going to school can really help you get your foot in the door, but some, in lieu of queuing in line and waiting for their chance to make a difference, they, took, they look for a way to subvert the system and get ahead on their own terms. So remember, when you see the, those who seem like misfits as you're growing up, or maybe even when you were an adult, don't you dare discount them as nothing. Behind closed doors, they may be the ones deciding world events and shaping your life. <laughs> and people get a kick out of that one, especially when in recent years, college tuition has gone up so has skyrocketed so unfairly out of control. Kind of makes sense sometimes if you've got the brains for it, right? I would get to share one more poem with you. It'll be the last time I read from this, the first book in the Builders Book Club Tuesday Night Book Reading Series um, in the book Imagery of Place, a CCND book 
that was for the July to December 2019 issues. Um, it is called Queuing in Line. Or no, it's not. That was the last one. This one is called Keep Our Country and Save Ourselves. I try to remember to thank veterans when I see them. And we're supposed to even have a day to remind us to be thankful for their service. They do things the vast majority of us wouldn't think to do and hate to do. <laughs> when they what they need is to what they need to do is to help keep our country. So when Veterans Day rolls around, we thank more people wearing military hats the same way you say Happy Holidays or Merry Christmas in December. We make a coin donation from our pockets and we wear that plastic poppy and feel like we've accomplished something. What if you drive down the street after paying for breakfast at some diner where you're regular, where you're regular and they know your order? And driving, you see a sign on a homeless person saying they're a veteran. Please, anything will help. And you start to panic because you don't know if this guy, a regular beggar at this corner, is actually a veteran or just trying to pull on someone's heartstrings. And wait a minute. It's Veterans Day. Maybe you should stop for one time, hand them your leftovers along with a little money. It is cold out. And then you wonder, are you giving because it's Veterans Day? Do you panic because you don't know if they're a veteran or not? Is it because this day forces you to remember and to care? Maybe the point is that you should care for veterans every day of the year. Help them from their nightmares and help them get back to being in the real world again, whatever that may be. <laughs> because you suddenly wonder, everyone you know is on this truck, on this cycle, and it's sometimes a cycle that can drive you insane. So maybe it's time to save the veterans and ourselves. That was the finale for the reading from this book from CCD Magazine, Issue Collection Book, Imagery of Place. I hope you've enjoyed it. You can always check out CCD Magazine online. Find out info on this book from scars.tv as well as searching for it on Amazon. Uh, thank you very much for listening and yay for the Builders Book Club readings and you guys hang in there. Um, I hope everyone is staying safe and secure right now and I hope everyone knows that they are loved. Thank you.